Everybody else can recover MP. The monkey's the only one who can't, but it's not that big of a deal because I don't use uh, strength buffs, uh, physical attack buffs. Oh, so that's that's it. The third combo is done. Okay, the third combo is done. Okay, now that was third combo was pretty short comparing to the rest one. Like all I've been doing is trying to avoid uh, Rido. And uh, I guess I can come back whenever I get enough stats on my um, lock and magic. Yeah, uh, whenever I get my strength, lock, and magic up, I can always come back and grab the uh, grab the rest of the. Hold on, where is that room? I see a regular. I see a room right there. What is that room? I can can I go check it out? Uh, so whenever I get their their stats up to like those stats to twenty five, I can always come back. All right, there's a peephole. We look inside. Yes. Uh, there should be a new dialogue here. I didn't think the third combo was going to be this short. Just like you trying to avoid Rido and fight him uh, in the end. So, you've survived the challenge of that formidable devil summoner. I'm amazed at how far you've come. The demon inside you will continue to be your source of strength during your quest. Power. It is what all humans seek. It is built into them. Whether it is the power of light or the power of darkness, People rely on it and pray. They do so wishing for greater power. In fact, a woman you know quite well prayed to a goddess in hopes of saving the world. Now let me tell you about that particular deity. Okay. Aradia. She is from a vortex world beyond the boundaries of this moon. In the Amala universe, where time and space melt together and flow as one, there exist countless vortex worlds. One of these worlds is where Aradia originated. As you are already aware, this vortex world was built upon a foundation, what you may consider to be the previous world. However, in its shadow lies another world, where those considered fictitious gather. And that is the vortex world where Aradia once resided. Those who dwell there wish for one thing, for their existence to become real. To find the means, they depart into the ocean of Amala and seek out worlds that hold the power of creation. Aradia herself is a tragic savior born of dreams. She emerged in response to the cries of witches who were persecuted for their beliefs. The witches prayed to Aradia for power and freedom. They also prayed for people to be saved from the hardships of life. However, Aradia never showed herself on Earth, nor did she save anyone. She was a being who could only give hope to her believers. Humans, whom God created, created a god of their own. Weird, but sure. It's indeed possible within the vast ocean of Amara. Nevertheless, Aradia is still an outsider. Like, I wonder what the, uh, like, Haikawa... Um, I already know Golden Tengu is gonna be one of them, like, one of the gods. Uh, what other god is there, like... I do. I'm. I'm kind of interested. Um. So Aradia is basically from another world, and she is a creation from witches. Um. But she never actually helped the witches. But like instead, she wandered into our world, trying to recreate the world of her own. That's kind of weird, for sure. Little that she can do in a 
context world where her existence is forbidden. She is merely the goddess of forsaken freedom. There are many who have spoken to during your time here, including the fiends and us. You have heard the voice of the Absolute One, too. But please know this. In the everlasting flow of Amara, we have long waited for you. For a time such as this to come. The true significance of the menorahs in the labyrinth of Amala, the new demon of chaos, whom all are waiting for in anticipation, and the final moment that my master awaits. Oh, you must be overwhelmed by all this, but if you can restore the menorahs to their original places and come here once again, then at that time, I will tell you the answers to all of your questions. Yeah, I'm kind of interested. Who else are they gonna be? Because in um, in the later games, they straight up like go for like Odin and stuff as god. So who? Uh, so Aradia is a goddess from another world. Like, are the rest of the gods that they're trying to call? Are they someone I'm, well, we're gonna recognize, or like, are they? I don't know, are they... Are they also gonna be like made up gods? Yes, jump here. Because like, in... Um, in Apocalypse, you sign a contract, your main character, spo little spoiler, sign which, uh, sign a contract with a deity called Dagda. Dagda is basically, is uh, actually a real god, like a real deity. Oh, what the heck? Seriously? Not cool, man. Alright, and you're moving now. And you're moving now. And you're all moving now. You're all moving. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, 41, sure. How many is that? Oh, that's four. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So I, so there should be 10 outside of it. Uh, I killed, um, I killed six already so you want uh so i killed six and then including Rado, i didn't kill Rado, so that's seven uh hold on hold on hold on so i have two more let me see hold on knowledge yeah majesty yeah okay Okay, so there should be three more, and uh, so I guess when when you go to the fifth kelpa, you only need uh, you only you only need one, right? Yeah, that that's how the math works out. You only need like one more to get to the to you only need one more to get to the fifth one. All right, that's cool. Okay, and I am out of here. Okay, it's kind of. Lame that I can't leave from here, but sure, whatever. Get me out of here. I, I definitely did not think the um, the third Kelpo was gonna be this short. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, uh -huh. yep. Yep. Yep.
Yeah, sure. Of course. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need to heal after this. 33, sure. Yeah, I'm in the red now. Uh, yeah, I'm in there, huh? Here we go. We're good. We're good. Uh, can I, like, not teleport? Do I have to run all the way back to teleport? Come on. Give me a break. Well, yeah, I want to see where that door leads me. Oh, wow, okay. So you're all here. Like, is any of you gonna be weak to fire? Kill you? Okay, and I missed, sure. What are you gonna be weak to? Nerve and mind, repel light and dark. You have no weakness, so. Alright, I blocked it, uh, whatever that was. What is this? What are you weak to? Repel elect. No, weak to force. Weak to force. Okay, okay. I don't think any of you are gonna uh, reflect this. Alright, kill the bird. Dodge it. Yes. So you are weak to force. Here we go. Nice. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go. I had a feeling that if I move, I was gonna... There was, there was gonna be a fight. light. I thought that was lightning attack, but that it turns out that's light. Okay, so what are you weak to? Are you weak to anything? Repel force and light. Okay, 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 okay. So I can use lightning, right? Touch. Yes, there we go. Dude, all my demons are about to level up too. Looks like you're safe, it's good to know. Okay, you are the one who told me that there's going to be a... Uh, there's going to be a boss fight. Okay, just making sure I got everything. Nice. It's very good that I have a single target heavy force attack. This way, I I um, I hit. I try to hit the. I try to. What am I trying to say? I try to hit the uh, guy that's weak to win twice, which a heavy force attack, and he's gonna die. And use Demi and Hanuman to regular attack the crows. 
That way I can, um, that way I can kill two of them in the same turn. Oh, so I can encounter, oh, just realized, I can encounter enemies now. Um, to do because I there wasn't any enemy encounters when I Rido was chasing me, which makes sense because like when he's chasing you, you don't want to like the other demons shouldn't be able to pop out and uh, attack you. So yeah, all right. So now now I'm trying now I'm running back. Um, I can't fight un other enemies. Are you guys weak to lightning or something? I think you might be weak to lightning. Oh, you're not weak to fire, and I don't think you're weak to ice. We already tried that today. I, I kind of want to know what you're weak to. Hold on. Weak to force! Okay, okay. Well, so you're not going to be immune to this, right? Instead of using force, I'm just gonna throw the Moragi dying and try and hope this will kill you. Oh, I'm 69. Nice. Alright, we got a beat. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Lakashmi, Lakashmi, and, uh, um, Sapur uh, is they're both gonna level up very soon. Like, they are. I, when I say very soon, they're gonna level up at the same time. I have no idea what their skills are going to, are going to be. I, I basically stopped checking their like next skill uh, a while back. Um, to now can I open this door? Now can I open you? Door is locked. Sure. Okay, this way. So you are weak to force. Good to know. So do not try to use eyes because they drain eyes. Give me more Akidai. They should kill you? Yeah, there we go. How am I supposed to level up on the uh, during the next fight? But these two level agility, you don't need to be any faster. Stop. And one's a nine. Skills are full. Heavy force damage to all foes. Yeah, they're the fuck breath. Venom claw. I don't uh, Ven uh, Venom claw. I don't need. To I don't need that. Will you lessen? Yes. It seems that uh, uh, I magnificent, simply magnificent. I present you with the sign of my this charm. Cool. Sign of change can be seen on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can evolve. I don't know what you can evolve into though. What can you evolve into? I definitely want to know. Um. Because I might like if you're evolving into something I want, then I'm not gonna fuse you. Evolve into Garuda. Sounds familiar. I don't know what it is. Garuda. Oh, Garuda. Okay, okay, okay. Garuda. I see. Um, you are definitely familiar. I don't think I ever use you in any in any of the pers uh, any of the SMT games. Uh, you can learn instant Q, persuade, wind cutter, mega force damage to one foe. Okay, now that's nice. Quiver survives fatal blow with one HP remaining. Okay, now that's not bad. Uh, level 63 though. Um, weak to death, void, reflect, uh, light, void, curse, and nerve. 
Hmm. I might, I might keep you. Leveled up. Locking crystal. You're locking crystal. What? Mana aid. Sure. Why not? To change skill. No, you're not changing any skill. Well, you can't evolve uh, into anybody else. So. Okay. So, um, should I should I keep him? Let let him evolve. I don't know. Actually, the evolved form's magic is not that, that high, though. And it needs to be thick 60... What, what, what level is it? Hold on, what level am I at right now? 59, so 63 is not that bad. Alright, I might, I might just let him evolve. 